Now what we're going to do with this box is going to make your queen rearing, well you, the grafting part of your queen rearing so, so much easier. The weather's still not too great, uh, but next week we've been told it's going to be warming up, um, even though we've got forecasted snow for, for midweek sometime. Um, I'm not too sure. But anyway, so we've been working inside again today because it's, it was warmer this morning. A fair few bees were actually flying this morning. Um, but now we're into the afternoon and it's dropped freezing cold again. I think it's down to four degrees and the wind's starting to get up and it's, it's, it's going to be raining in the next hour or so. But what I want to show you today, uh, a part of getting ready for our Queen Rearing series is this is a timing box and what I mean by a timing box is rather than just randomly going out to the apparel and grabbing a frame um, with larvae in it that you're hoping are going to be the right age a timing box is so we can actually time from when the queen lays that first egg to when the larvae is going to hatch and it's going to be good enough to graft from um, so this is what we put together as a timing box this year um, normally it's just a, a normal nut box we use and, and we'll we use a router and change some things in it this is the BS honey box um, and luckily with this box it's actually got a nice groove cutting for it for to slide the queen excluder in so i'll just take these bits off the roof and the feeder um, and we're going to set this up from scratch this year as part of the queen rearing series so we've got black plastic foundation in there i know a lot of people you absolutely detest plastic foundation but there is uh, there is method in the madness especially on a timing box um, so we've got six frames all in all in this timing box and this is one of the frames that i've really heavily waxed uh, the, the bees are going to take to it a lot lot more easier than they would be with just plain foundation in there and we've made um a metal quick excluder uh, normally you get as a reach over here you, with these BS honey nooks you get a plastic divider board that slides in and you've got an entrance at the front and an entrance at the back and you can literally set yourself up and use this as a mating nook and we've actually got quite a few that we've set up as mating nooks this year but I use that as a template and I got a metal queen excluder and we cut that to the exact shape and size you can use a plastic queen excluder but what you'll find is um, and in our other timing boxes where in the past we've used plastic queen excluders they tend to warp and the queen can get out from one side into the other side and we want to confine her to one side and the reason we want to confine her to one side is when, when this is in place this is trying to get it back in put my glasses on because as you know I'm blind as a bat without my glasses and we could there we go when this is in, in place we can confine the queen to one side um, and all the bees from the other side from the emerging brood that can still come through to that queen and in there we're going to put two frames of food or solid brood whichever and one frame is going to be drawn comb but there's going to be no eggs or larvae in that drawn comb so let's say we want to graft on on sunday um so what we do is wednesday night my last job would be to make sure the queen was on this side or on that side as long as there was the only place she could lay with one frame of drawn out comb with literally nothing in it and then we'd we'd leave her in there to lay uh, till the, the following day so she had a, a good full 24 hours to lay in and then she could go anywhere she wanted to uh, we could remove the queen's saluder or we could pop her on this the other side to do the same thing again so 
we'd have a laid up there for another solid day and we'd know that this middle frame on on that thursday were all freshly laid eggs come sunday every single larvae because by sunday they'd have hatched out um we'd know we could take that off to to graft from and every larvae would be exactly the same age give or take a few hours but but those larvae that have hatched from eggs would be good to graft from so we know we won't graft in anything too old in there and don't forget if there's no food in there it's still an egg it's it's not the right age so they only feed larvae so you're going to know that if there's food in there with the larvae it's not going to be too old you're going to graft from it and as long as you graft correctly the 99 percent of the time they're going to accept that uh, that graft that you've done there now the reason why i like using black plastic is and and i like to show especially new people that are, are starting to graft from it's so easy to see your larvae on black plastic a lot lot easier and plastic is sol solid because what you're going to do or what i do when i finish with this frame and have it grafted from it i put it to one side i don't put it back in the hive i'll take it and, and i'll actually wash out all the eggs and all the larvae from both sides uh, i'll wash wash them all away so that is a blank piece of drawn out comb again with no eggs no larvae pop it back in to one of the sides where the queen isn't the bees can polish it all up and get it ready so the next time we want to put this in our timing box it's it's all ready for the queen to start laying into and we're not going to be struggling looking for frames that we can actually put there for the queen to lay in and it's not going to be partial older larvae it's not going to be sealed brood that's in there we, we know literally everything that's in there both sides is going to be the right age to graft from uh, and that's why i use the black plastic as well because if you use a hose pipe to wash it out with sometimes you can be a little over vigorous and you can blast it all straight through it and then not only have the bees got to polish all those cells up they've got to repair the damage you've caused by wa washing out there and that's why we use black plastic because it washes out so easy but i've got three or four of these boxes up and running all the time in the different queen rearing apparies that we've got so i know as long as i put that queen in and i've left it the right amount of days so so don't forget i pop in wednesday night it gives the time to settle down and then thursday friday saturday come sunday every, everything that's the larvae is going to be the correct age to graft from so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for you